welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post. And if you have already subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate you. You can also follow me on my social media platforms at Dorzo underscore Duxy. So, as you can see by the title of today's video, today I am doing a soft glam flawless look okay right now the girls are serving face the girls just want flawless and that is what i'll be showing you how to achieve today so if you want to know how to do that let's get into it i'm going to start off with my brows my eyebrows i'm taking my mirror if i'm looking down here i am looking at my mirror if i'm looking over there i am monitoring my phone because as you know miss bing doesn't want to participate and you know what i don't want to hear it like i'm very uninterested in what she's interested in so yeah so i have a detailed brow tutorial I'm going to link it up in the cards up here and I hope it's the side. I keep pointing here, but it could be the side, but I think it's the side. Okay. All of the detailed tutorials on everything that I do today will be linked up in the cards. Yeah, the cards are here. The cards are the side. <laughs> They're not the side. They're the side. So yeah, I'll do that. So I'm going to do my brows real quick. Just going to fast forward through it because you know baby i'm trying not to buy like makeup that i don't need which is really difficult because i have a problem <laughs> so hence i'm trying to use everything until it finishes like obviously there are certain things that i'm still gonna buy but like an eyebrow pencil let me just finish the ones i have you understand what i mean You actually always look so crazy when your makeup is still in process so those are my brows done they are giving uh, too much structure not really what i wanted but we're here now i'm just gonna pat them down with some powder because they're just doing too much so i'm gonna go in with my baby skin primer um, I'm trying to buy new primers so I can try out some new primers oh uh, let's do that and just see what happens see you what's up I know I've already been like it's not worth it it's not worth your book but I don't want to do it <laughs> I definitely still want to do that okay then I'm gonna go in with my NYX total control drop foundation um, the key to a flawless foundation routine is to make sure that you are using the same texture of product so if you're gonna be using your contours your foundation whatever they all be the same texture if they're all liquid they must all be liquid if they are powder they must all be powder understand and then we can set our liquids later so not mixing and matching it gets a bit patchy it gets a bit tricky but I'm gonna show you what I mean so I'm gonna take my total control drop when this foundation finishes, I'm definitely going to cry. I 
and here, and here, and blend. I'm going to be trying out these brushes. I've already used this. A lot happened before I started. <laughs> I'm going to try these brushes. They're from So Bay. I don't know if you can see. They're from So Bay. You can't see. Everything's reflecting. Um, I got them as a gift, so I just wanted to try them out. I think this is a foundation brush. I think. It's so soft. Mm -mm, it's too soft. No. It's way too soft. Where's my other brush? Okay, that other brush was a little bit too soft for my liking for a foundation brush. So I'm assuming it's not a foundation brush. Clark. And not even that like it was soft to the touch when it Press down, it's just going. <laughs> That's what it's doing. So. No, while I'm here, I might as well vent. About too hot to handle. What's wrong with those people? What's oh, oh. <laughs> what's now <that> clicking? <laughs> like, how are you unable to keep your body parts to yourself for two hundred thousand dollars? Please explain that to me. Like, really, a six thousand dollar kiss? Is it worth it? Are you really happy that you paid six thousand dollars for a kiss? A kiss. <sighs> anyway, also like everyone should have really kicked Holly and Nathan out or something or beat them up. Something had to happen <laughs> because no, no, no. Many age. I would uh, yo no ways no ways mm -mm. they needed like a hiding or to be kicked out like no they were doing too much okay once I've blended everything I like to just take a beauty blender and just you know Go over everything just to make sure everything is properly blended. This also looks a little product if you feel like you've done too much, it will lift some of the foundation off, but it just also creates a smooth, yeah. Because we're going for flawless, we're going for skin, we're going for. You know what I mean? I'm now going to go in with some highlighting, contouring. And yeah, I'm going to take Trusted Elegate LA Girl Pro Concealer and the shade Pure Beige. I was looking for Cool Tan, but I couldn't find it. So I took this one. And it's not bad. I'm not crying. It's really light but it's not bad if you have watched my other my tutorial on highlighting or back to basics on highlighting and contouring I was putting the concealer on the outer corner as well but um, I've decided to change that because I saw someone else just put it here and then use the blending shindig. 
The Beauty Blender. <laughs> Blending shindig. The Beauty Blender to just move it to the outer corner to give you that, you know, snatch a root. Snatch a root, snatch a roll. So, I'm going to do that now. Oh, you press it in, press it in, press it in, and then you bring it out, bring it out, and turn your beauty blender. Yeah. It's okay, because that same effect, but it's so much, it's softer and it's blended a better. And it just makes sense. It just makes so much sense. How's that? Okay, so I'm also just gonna quickly do some contouring. I'm gonna take the other brush. I've also already used it, but the Sobe brushes. And I saw this from Mela Child. I actually think Mela Child is now changing my makeup, you know, influenced. Um, taking your concealer when you want to contour, Taking your product and just putting it on your brush instead of putting it directly on your face because then it blends so much better. Like it blends so much better. The lines are softer, you know, and that's what we're going for. We're going for flawless. So that's the secret to the flawless. Don't want any harsh lines, so we're just gonna go in, put our product there, and it just it applies softly. Are you seeing that? Are you seeing that? It's just applying so much softer, so much more controlled. It's a really doing what needs to be done, and I like that. I'm gonna just add a little bit more. This can go on the perimeter, perimeter of my face. I want to try out some new makeup products. That's what I want to do. Um, I told myself I wasn't gonna buy new makeup I think I said it in this video that I wasn't gonna buy any new makeup but I'm sitting here and I'm like why why not you know if not why not I'm just gonna take the same brush just go in with a little bit of a nose contour situation I don't really contour my nose because I have a nice nose, you know? I don't know if you're seeing what this has done, but it applied so well. Again, at the Beauty Blender, just to, you know, soften it once. Again, for soft. Hi? Hi? Soft. Exactly. So, going in there, any harsh lines, blending them out. Okay, now that I've done the contour, I'm just going to blend this in one more, one more time and then set it. I'm going to set it with the LA Girl powder. The lid is already upside down. I can't show you. Maybe I can. Yeah. Um, the essence powder that I bought, all about matte, I'm going to show it to you. This one, it's extremely matte. It's so matte, okay? Which was like, okay, shocking. But 
I was okay with it. It really does have like a smoothing effect. And then I wore it out and I saw pictures and there's a lot of flashback with that powder. So I was not happy about that. I was very unhappy about that. Displeased. I very unhappy so if you don't know what flashback is i'll insert a picture here um i'll show you the difference when you're taking a picture with the flash and then the powder is just like ah, also flashing it's flashing back <laughs> like i'll show you a picture of with and without a flash like what happens you look normal, everything's fine, and then you take a picture, and you look like this. But right now, I have powder, like, sitting there. I shouldn't be looking like this, J. You know what I mean? Oh, no. I made a boo-boo. <laughs> oh, my, do you see that? Oh, my goodness, I need to fix that. Oh no. Oh my lord. What have I done? Okay. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. I'm just fixing what I've done here now. Pap. Pap. Okay. I just have to pap. I won't now. So I wasn't happy about that with this powder. And so. Yeah. That's the end of it. I'll probably still use it just to finish it because I bought it with my money. So I have to use it. But it's not it's not recommended. You know. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Okay. Did I even do anything there? Or oh, I'm just putting in powder. I definitely didn't. Put some powder. To give that highlighted effect. And I also want to take some powder and reverse contour. Because we're serving face, we're serving flawless. Okay, reverse contouring is basically taking your powder or your concealer and putting it right under where you normally put your contour. This just gives an extra, you know, to snatch. To snatch gives an extra mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. are you seeing that are you seeing what's happening I made an error there and I don't know how to fix it to be perfectly honest with you so now that I've done that, I'm just going to go in to my eyes a little bit. Make sure everything is smooth because you're not wearing any... What you call it? Um, eyeshadow. We're not wearing any eyeshadow today. I'm giving face. Giving some powder and just 
just some of the powder on there. Hmm. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. 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 I'm going to gonna use my compact powder just to soften up this situation this ghostly situation that's going on right now just go over everything with powder because now we are done and it put in our liquids now we are done just want to sit away everything this because this is also a tinted compact powder like it does the softening as well you know the softening effect we want going for soft going for soft um take my favorite palette scarlet hill scarlet hill must so much just make me their brand ambassador because i'm out here when i skin care when I make up, oh, I'm taking this shade, uh, Smitten, and I'm just going over my contour bronzing situation. Just going over that, and then fellow South Africans. Going on some blush. Gonna take both of So Romantic and Date Nights. Gonna take just both. Gonna go in. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. I love a blush. I really, really love blush. Like, I never used to use it until I did, and my life changed. My life has not been the same since I started using blush. I hope my pots are not burning. I also like to just take, I'm gonna take Dazzle Me, just the highlights and shade since we're here, and just go over that you know give a glow is that glow of a guy a sad we're glowing you know yeah oh i think this brush already had some highlighter on it everything everything's Fine, everything's fine. Gonna do the nose. Just, just small and gain about it. Ooh. Mm. Ah. I'll find this one again. I'll be shy. Shh. I'm gonna show you. Most one again. But it. Ooh. But it. Ah. Roger. Hmm? Highlights. Blush and highlights. You really, really, really just. Your makeup goes from. Mm, from. Oh, you look great. Oh, you look great. And that's what we want. But oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to put on some lashes and some setting spray. Have my lashes on. Ink all page. Really shy as it's. We are not to zone these. These are my favorite lashes, and I 
I don't know where I bought them. Angazi was all happy. Because they are starting to tap out. So I'm going to take some brown liner. Line the lips. Yeah, ooh. My lips look good. I'm gonna go in with a clear lip gloss, my Scarlet Hill lip gloss. I'm not gonna show you how it looks because it's been through a lot. It looks like it's fighting some battles, so I'm not gonna do that. But it's from Scarlet Hill, trust me. <laughs> there you have it a flawless flawless soft glam except that i should because ink up me shall is it thanks <laughs> this is the final look i do hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and share it with others okay and you can also leave a comment down below so yeah that is it for me thank you so much for watching Mwah.